In this video, you will learn how to create and order multiple security policies in the policy table to control and limit different types of network traffic. You will create three policies. A basic internet access policy, which allows users in the internal network to access the internet. A restrictive mobile policy, allowing users to access the internet with mobile devices. And an admin access policy allowing system administrators full unrestricted access from their PCs. First, go to Policy and Objects, IPv4 Policy, and edit your existing Internet Access Policy that allows traffic from the internal network to the Internet. Set the name to Internet. Set services to only include DNS, HTTP, and HTTPS. And make sure that NAT is enabled. Enable Log Allowed Traffic and select All Sessions so that you can see the results at the end. Save the policy. Next, create another policy and set the name to Mobile. Set incoming interface to your internal interface, outgoing interface to your internet-facing interface, and for the source, add the mobile device group, and set the address to All. Set the destination to All. Set the services to DNS, HTTP and HTTPS, and enable NAT. Under Security Profiles, enable Web Filter and set it to use the default profile. Enable SSL Inspection and set it to use Certificate Inspection to allow HTTPS traffic to be inspected. Doing this will also enable Proxy Options. Enable Log Allowed Traffic, select All Sessions, and save the policy. Using a device group in a policy automatically turns on device identification. Now go to User and Device, Custom Devices and Groups to define a new device profile that will identify your administrator's PC. Enter an alias, then enter the PC's MAC address. Set the device type, and save the profile. Now return to the policy list, and create one more policy, setting the name to admin. Set incoming to your internal interface, outgoing to your internet-facing interface. Add the administrator PC to the list of sources. Set the destination to all, and set services to all. Enable NAT, enable Log Allowed Traffic, select All Sessions, and save the policy. Back on the policy list, select the By Sequence view which shows the policies in the order that they're enforced by the FortiGate. Top is first, and the implicit deny at the bottom is last. To move the policies, select the column on the far left and drag the policy up or down. The most specific targeted policies need to be at the top to ensure they are applied first before the general internet access policy. So in this case, that means admin, then mobile, then internet, then implicit deny. Browse the internet using the administrator's PC, a different PC on the internal network, and a mobile device on the network. Then go to FortiView Policies. You will see traffic flowing through all three security policies. Right-click on any policy and select Drill Down to see the details. If you view the Sources tab for the Admin policy, you can confirm that the policy is being used exclusively by the admin PC. 
Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, click here to subscribe. And you can find a written version of this recipe on cookbook.fortinet.com.